Hey guys. So these are pitted dates. And I buy these because I chop them up and I put them in salad because they're super, super, super sweet. Super sweet. And they're firm. They have a firm texture. And I do, I use these because it gives me the same sweetness and chewiness that a dried cranberry would give me. But it doesn't have the added sugar that a lot of those um, craisin type cranberries have. This will last me in the fridge five to six months. And you don't need to refrigerate them, but I do because I like them to stay fresher. So five to six months, I'll keep this in the fridge. And when I make a salad, I'll just take three or four, chop them up and throw them in the salad. Now, the last time I went to the store, they did not have these and I was out and I was craving my sweet chewiness and my salad. So I walked around the produce market and I found these Majul dates. They're huge a lot bigger than the dates that I buy. The problem is I tried them and they are just mushy. They're very soft. They're not super firm and chewy like the other dates that I buy. So now I have these dates, but I'm not gonna let these go to waste. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these open. I'm gonna stuff them with walnuts or almonds. I have to see what I have in the fridge. I have sliced almonds in the fridge always, but I'm gonna see if I have walnuts because walnuts have like a meatier flavor to them. And I think it would be perfect with the sweet date, medjool date. And then after I stuff them with walnuts or almonds, I'm gonna cover them in chocolate. So I'm basically gonna turn these medjool dates into a sweet treat for after dinner dessert. Oh, and also these are pitted, so I don't have to do anything to them, but these are not pitted. So if you check, Look at that. That is the seed. Huge seed. You'd break a tooth on this. So anyway, so I'm going to have to cut these open, take the pits out, stuff them with walnuts. Okay, so all I'm doing is taking my medjool date, making a little incision. That sounds so medical. This one doesn't even have a pit. Okay, so that's ready for stuffing. But a lot of these do because these are not pitted like the other ones are. See? Pit. Ding! This one has no pit either. Nice. This one does. See that? Little pit. So I don't have walnuts. I have sliced almonds. I always do. And I have a little bit of roasted cashews. Unsalted roasted cashews. The almonds are raw unsalted almonds sliced. So I think I'm gonna do some with almonds and some with cashews. So... Let's see, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take the cashews and just stuff them in there, just like that. And these are big dates, so you can fit two cashews. And that's it, I'm gonna close it up just like this, and then I'm gonna dip this in chocolate. So I'm gonna get these all stuffed and then I'll get to the dipping part. Okay, so all my dates are stuffed, and now I am going to melt some semi-sweet chocolate chips, just because that's what I have on hand. 
Okay, so to melt the chocolate, I have just a pot with plain old water. And I have a bowl, and I'm going to put it right on top. I'm basically making a double boiler here. And I'm going to put that on. Just like that. I have this on high right now just to get the water to a boil. But once it starts boiling, I'm going to put it on low and just stir to melt the chocolate chips until they're melted. Okay, so I have my wax paper on here and I'm putting it on the wax paper just like that. So it's going to dry and the chocolate's going to firm up and it'll be delicious. So if you're using chocolate chips because you're in a pinch because you don't have melting chocolate because you didn't plan on doing this just like I didn't plan on doing this um, you could put some oil in the chocolate to smooth it out and make it creamier I just used olive oil because that's what I use um, so because this is not something that I planned obviously I don't have the right tools for chocolate dipping but I am using a spoon and a fork and just scraping off the excess and doing the best with what I have. Okay. And next, just rolling it around in the chocolate a little bit. Again, this is not melting chocolate, so it's not liquidy and smooth. It's smooth because it melted and I put a little olive oil. And you know what, olive oil is probably better for you than whatever stuff they add to melting chocolate to make it melt. So in my mind, this is better anyway. All right. So the chocolate covered dates. Yes, it's not beautiful. It's not smooth, but you know what? It's going to be delicious. And I'm going to call it rustic, rustic chocolate covered dates stuffed with cashews okay guys okay so these have been in the fridge for about half an hour the chocolate it has solidified and they are ready to be removed from the wax paper i'm going to put them on a plate to make them look nice and because my husband has a sweet tooth i'm going to sprinkle them i'm just going to dust them with a little bit of powdered sugar one it makes them look nice because you know the chocolate wasn't so smooth so this just makes them look nicer and my husband has a sweet tooth so this will give it a little bit of sweetness because the chocolate chips weren't that sweet and that's it i'm actually going to pop these in the freezer for a few minutes just because it makes the chocolate nice and cold i love ice cold chocolate i keep my chocolate in the freezer believe it or not um and that's it let me cut one open to show you okay i'm going to cut this one open just to show you the knife goes through that like butter. Those dates, the medjool dates are so soft. Look at that. Look at that nice crunchy cashew in there. You have the chocolate on the outside. Let's give this a taste. Look at that. Yummy. Mm. That date is so soft and smooth and the chocolate, the nuts are crunchy inside. These are delicious. You can even make these and give them as a gift. They're really, really nice. Look at that. A little something a little different than giving cookies. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bon appetit!